Life is about experiences. The good ones, and the not so good ones. Our experiences are what gives our lives meaning. They become our memories. They make us who we are. So tell me, have you experienced Jesus in your life? The greatest experience of all. Hi, this is Dave Bartos. Let's have you experience Jesus. Hey, I'm down here in Salt Lake City. I'm always here. This is the spot where I do most of my shows, as you know. Um, hey, listen, I am going to talk to you about a subject that I think is important for a lot of people, uh, especially if you're young. I want to address those young women or young men who um, are considering getting married, okay? There are a lot of people out there, and I had the unfortunate situation, I'm not going to mention her name, but about six years ago, seven years ago, I was in a restaurant and I would basically go to this, this same restaurant over and over and over. And I met this young girl who was the waitress there. She was really dynamic, very outgoing person. Uh, she was very bohemian. I, I traveled Europe. I had a backpack when I was young and she wanted to do a lot of things, you know, and she just had a really free spirit. Someone who, who was more of like a, that free sort of thinking, free spirit, wanting to experience the world, to go out and travel and do all this stuff. And I would tell her all the time, don't get married, you know, don't get married. And she had, she wasn't really Mormon per se. Um, she, was a, she was a little bit, but she wasn't Orthodox because she had a, a sort of free thinking attitude, uh, but she was brought up Mormon, I believe. And so she was dating this guy and they were considering getting married. I said, oh, don't, you know, <laughs> go out and see the world, have an experience. You can find somebody later on. And um, unfortunately I saw her Believe it or not, I saw her last week. And there she is with three children. And I said, how you doing? I haven't seen you in such a long time. How are you? And she looked kind of sad in some ways, you know. Um, and I looked at her and I said, so what's been going on? Tell me about your life. I haven't talked to you in six years or whatever, five years. And she said, well, I did marry that guy who was Mormon and we had issues. I said, well, what happened? She said, well, he um, really, his family is very, very Mormon and they're very more orthodox and they, they saw things the Mormon way and what women are supposed to do and how they're supposed to be more submissive, if you will, and, and be mothers and take care of their family. And she still had a lot of these free thinking thoughts of what she wanted to do. And I said, well, what happened? She says, well, you know, it came to a point where I couldn't meet his expectations. And I says, you couldn't meet his expectations? She says, yeah, I just couldn't meet his expectations. And it came to the point that he wanted me to be this way. And I came to realize that that wasn't me. That's not who I was. So, you know, he's a nice guy and everything. But what happened is that we divorce. We, di we got divorced. And I said, you got divorced? She said, I should have listened to you. You were right. And now she is involved in this other guy and she had another child with this other guy. They're not married. And I started thinking about this idea. I started thinking more about this idea. And I want to share this with you. I want to share this if, if there's anybody watching this video right now, who's young, who's different, who's a free thinker, who's a free spirit, who might be a little bit bohemian, and you're considering marrying somebody who's a very strong Mormon, right, with his views and his ideas, I'm gonna tell you right now, I would highly recommend, I would advise you not to do it. You know, because usually that personality who's a free spirit who wants to do more, who's more empowered, who wants to maybe even do things outside, you know, to, to be successful outside of just being a mother, having a, a career, 
right? I would advise you not to do it. I would advise you to really think about it because the reality is, as many times what you see, if, if you're a guy also, or if you're a young man or a young woman, and you have these feelings, right, that you want to do a lot, I would advise you not to do it, not to get caught up because what happens, your other partner who's really might be orthodox and has a whole way of thinking about being a Mormon the right way, what the system tells you you should do, that um, I, would, I would say don't do it. Go off, experience life. Get to know who you are. Get to know what you want, you know? Get to experience what life is for you Develop your journey. That's what I would tell you. Don't get caught up with saying, when I'm 18, 19, I gotta hurry up and get married, or whatever it may be. Um, you know what? God has a plan for you, and many times it's not getting married at 18 or 19. I think many, unfortunately, I've seen this over and over and over and over again, that many get married because of, they wanna have intimate relationships. I think you gotta really rethink all that idea, right? Sometimes it works great. If you are on the same level, if you think the same way, and if you want the same things, yeah, it could work, right? I'm not saying it wouldn't. But if you're a free spirit, and if you think differently than your, your possible future spouse, I'm just saying, I want you to realize that I don't want you to be a part of losing your life and your direction and your opportunity of things that could await you in such an ex exciting journey of your life. I want you to think about that. Because, I mean, I traveled myself in Europe. I backpacked. I, I worked at, at, at camps for three summers, Jewish camps. I, I had a ball. I went to three different colleges. I met so many different types of people. I had a great experience in life. I met thousands and thousands of people. I wasn't caught up. I mean, if that's what you want, I traveled all over the world. If that's what you want and you really feel that that's what you want, then I say do it. Don't put yourself in a box if you know that that person you're going to marry wants you to be straight, not thinking, wants you to accept 100% this is the view, this is the system, this is how you're gonna be. They mold you to that type of person. I say, don't do it. Let yourself travel, let yourself see the world. Go to Rome, go to, to um, Salzburg, go to, to Paris, travel the world, go to India, go to China, if that's what you want. Go to South America, go to Chile, go to all these different places. You can do whatever you want to do right? You can do whatever you want to do. So the key is, it's your life. It's your life. Don't make a rash decision based on other things and how this other person is. Make the decision for you. That you want to live a great life and you want to experience your life because, you know, I gotta be honest with you, when you do that, you're much more happy. You have a lot more joy in your life. And you don't look back and say, dang it, I wish I did that. Now I regret my life. Now I get unhappy. Do you know how many people, how many people are depressed in this state? I see it all the time. I see it all the time. It's sad. The amount of prescription drugs that are on, uh, people, Mormons are taking. A lot of Mormon women. Don't do that. Have a great time. Experience love. Go hike, you know, the Himalayas. Do whatever you want. But for you, it's your life, okay? And if that guy can't wait and if he can't understand you, say move on. It's your life. Anyway, think about this. Something I wanted to share with you guys. God bless you and have a great day.